Well, hello, and thank you for joining me for another Alex on Tech and ITY TV interview. I'm here today with Brad Howe. He's the head of consumer at ASUS. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, and now, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, it's really exciting to be here. Now, tell us about the pop-up event at Pitt Strip Mall that we are at. Yeah, sure. So, thankfully, the weather's held out at the moment, which is great. But um, today, we're here just to showcase some of the new ROG gaming notebooks um, that we've launched in 2023. Uh, obviously an enormous amount of products, so we've gone through a lot of those today with you already, but um, in terms of the, the, the products we're showcasing, it's really just bringing to market the new technologies. So you've got the latest Intel 13th gen CPUs and also the latest NVIDIA 4000 series GPUs as well. Now you did mention in the video of the presentation, which I've got, and I will be uh, alongside the, this particular video interview, yes. but you also had some new calling Fans, and you were even talking about how you were going into detail about thermal paste being used yeah. and other things because gamers really want to know. Yeah, they do. And it's something we do differently. We, we do actually advertise what we put into the devices as well. So um, in terms of the cooling, we've moved to new heat pipe cooling system, but we've also moved to a tri-fan display in a number of our devices. So in the Strix range, in the ROG Strix range, the Zephyrus range as well, we've moved to three fans. So uh, previously, the 2022 variations were, were two fans only. We've now moved to a three fan system and from a gamer point of view that's that's key because any gamer that knows um, using gaming notebooks they want to make sure they're cool always so we've spent a lot of time and money and, and innovated some new cooling techniques in terms of the heat pipe but also the tri fan system on top of that we've also then added um, new cooling paste so the paste actually goes on the CPU traditionally. We also now have that paste on the GPU as well, the graphics processing unit. Yeah. Sorry, I should make sure I make that clear, graphics yeah. processing unit. Yeah. And um, from, a, from a user point of view, that's something that gives them a lot of confidence that when they're in gameplay, they're not going to be concerned about overheating their device because ASUS has obviously spent a lot of time and money and, and our uh, one third of our workforce are ASUS engineers. So there's a lot of people busy making sure these things come to life and, and give people the, the best experience that they're after. So what you're saying is that your really cool tech is now even cooler. It is, exactly with right. With the three fans. Exactly and, right. But you've got a lot more than three fans out there. You've got millions of fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's really funny. It's some of the detail, and you can find all this on our website, the detail around the fan technology is down to the thickness of the blade on the fan. How many blades are on the fan? Like, it's, it's a granular level of detail. And the curvature love that stuff. of the fins and yeah, all that sort of stuff. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly yeah. right. So it's um, it's all publicised on our website and it's something that we do a little bit differently. We like to share share that innovation that we've put into the product and show people exactly what that looks like physically in the machine. Sure. Now esports and gaming are hugely popular these days. You even have a couple of gaming influencers that I'll be talking to a bit later on. Yeah. And uh, you know, buying a powerful computer is a fantastic and very portable alternative to a traditional games console. I mean, true gamers seem to prefer uh, discrete PCs for all the more up-to-date uh, features they, they have, unless the console just arrived that year, for example, yeah. which is not the case. So can you give us a bit of an update on the gaming market in Australia and, and globally? Yeah, sure. So from a gaming view locally, um, we're doing exceptionally well. The, uh, the market still continues to grow, even in challenging times, as everyone's aware of in the current Australian-New Zealand climate. Things are a little bit tougher than they had been previously, and, and they're obviously things that are out of our hands. But what, what is great is we've got um, product that we bring to market. We bring innovation, and it's, it's making people want to make a purchase. Um, sometimes they need to make a purchase because they just need a new device. But there's a bit of a want there as well. And some of the great things that we do put into the product, it creates an emotional attachment, which is, a I think, a real key for people bringing, um, purchasing a new device. And in terms of eSports, obviously, that's such a big part of what we do. And, and Strix is really an important part of the type of device we sell to an eSports type of um, gamer. In particular, someone like Mew Selk, Elliot, he's, he's here today, and he, he uses a Strix, um, Strix car device. So, you know, real powerful eSports, aggressive looking machine. Um, but then further to that, there's, there's a different part of the market now. It's not just your um, aggressive looking gaming notebook. There is devices that people are after that, that look a little bit more subtle, um, smaller. So we now have 13 inch all the way through to 18 inch in terms of our screen size variation. Um, and that's to target very different types of customers. So some customers are a lot more mobile, some customers are a lot more desk ridden, if you like, in terms of they're always sitting plugged into power, so battery life isn't as key, um, and the physical weight and size doesn't matter as much. Um, but then you've got the opposite end of the scale, where people use the device for work and play. Um, and, and now with the 13 inch and 14 inch, very portable, lightweight devices, a lot less aggressive looking in terms of their physical features, 
Um, so if you were to sit down in a boardroom environment or something, you wouldn't you actually, have all these RGB yeah, lights. Yeah, you won't have the flashing lights. <laughs> you can have a little bit of that, but not yeah. too much. You can turn it all off. Yeah. So the idea there is that you go to work, you use it as your work device, you go home, you still have a very capable gaming notebook that looks a little bit more nicer and, and, and doesn't um, and still does the job in yeah. terms of gameplay. No problem. I mean, there at are all. some people who are not really gamers at all or don't play games, but they buy the gaming notebooks because they are pretty much the, that is the top of the range. Yeah. That is me. I, um, I, I am not a gamer by any stretch of the imagination. I'm fortunate enough to have access to all of these amazing devices, but um, I currently use a Z13 Flow, so a nice portable 13-inch gaming notebook. Um, it's massive overkill for what I do. It's a Core i9, it's 16 gig, it's one terabyte, 3050 graphics, so my Outlook and email opens exceptionally fast. But um, <laughs> in terms of my user scenario, I just need performance and I need portability, uh, you know, and that's, that's the key for these devices. And, and it's great because I can take it to meetings and show people some of the latest tech we have as well. Absolutely. So where can people buy ROG uh, laptops and gaming notebooks in Australia? Yeah, sure. So we've got a number of options. So one of our first options is our own e-store. So we have a, a website um, on the asus.com.au website. Um, outside of that, we also have our product across all traditional national retailers across the country. Um, and then also our channel dealer network as well. So uh, you can find ROG across all of those types of different customers. Sure. And. Uh you know, are there any competitions or promotions that you're running at the pop-up store today or just in general that you want to talk about? Yeah, there's a couple, couple of little ones here for, for the consumers to, uh, to get on board and scan the QR code and, and win a prize or two. Um, so yeah, there's definitely that. And, and we've also got the promotion running that um, if you purchase a device in a certain set amount of time, you'll also get the opportunity to, to get a bit of a merch pack as well. Sure. And what's the next big esports event in Australia? Uh, the, most, the next one I believe will probably participate in would be PAX. So that's typically in the second half of the year. Um, I think we, there's one in Perth coming up soon. Oh, uh, there's one in Perth? Oh, PAX, yeah. PAX uh, in Perth? I was Perth? looking at a, pr a press release recently, but I mean, they have them oh, in Melbourne okay. and Yeah, we Brisbane always we always definitely attend the Melbourne one. That's the big one. That's where we, we go all out and um, you know really have quite a large setup. We have a, a huge amount of people attend, and, and that's the biggest one in Australia, and that's um, one we've traditionally done very well at. Um, amazing amount of people come through, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, full cosplay, dressed up. It's, um, it's a pretty cool event to be a part of, actually. Yeah. So what else should we know about ROG Tech uh, that we haven't already discussed? Yeah, I think um, some of the things we, we're really trying to bring to the market, and, and I talk about innovation a lot in what we do because that's what we are about, but um, one of the cool features now is bringing Nebula Display or, or a brand of Nebula Display into our conversation, I suppose. So it's a way of a consumer very quickly defining that if this machine has Nebula Display, it's a minimum spec in terms of performance um, and, and making sure that consumers have the ability to know that they, they're getting the best of the best in these devices. So Nebula Display is something that's been a real focus for us. So uh, like I said, it's a minimum spec and it's a bit of a marketing message for us as well globally to try and educate customers that um, if you're wanting the best of the best in the display, you look for an Asus ROG Nebula display. Yeah, well, I mean, you might say minimum spec, but really it's maximum spec. <laughs> it is, you know? it is and, pretty and high. And these are all HDR as well. And, yeah, so we've got, we've got Nebula display with and without HDR. So the one with HDR is the more premium version. Um, and obviously you go up to some amazing NITS levels and, and um, refresh ratios, re sorry, refresh um, aspects and things. So it's quite, um, quite a performance um, display. And that's really targeted at that type of customer that's after the best of the best in a, in a gaming notebook. Now, without giving any secrets away, I mean, we've got Computex coming up soon and there's always things that you're working on in the labs, but how do you see ROG and the esports industry evolving over the next couple of years? Yeah, so it's, it's still one of the markets that will continue to grow. Um, and, and it's not just a typical gaming consumer that's buying a gaming notebook. We do have um, a lot of people that are buying these devices now um, as, a, as a companion device to their traditional device, but also um, purchasing a gaming notebook because that's the spec they need. Like me, I don't actually need a gaming notebook, but I need a high performance device. And mm. we're very fortunate that our ROG range has an end-to-end -end solution in terms of screen size, but also portability. Um, and then obviously right at the other end of the scale as well in terms of a, a very large, hardcore sort of AAA title gaming gaming notebook but um, yeah we expect to see gaming in general across Australia and New Zealand and, and even from an APAC view we, we've spent a lot of time and, and, and money to make sure that our brand is very well positioned um, and, and you know we're very fortunate to be where we are at the moment. So as we get towards the end of the interview I always like to ask uh, two or three personal questions and the first is can you please share a memory of your first computer? 
First computer. Uh, my first computer was a 286. So I go back a little while, but probably not as, as far as some people, but I actually built it myself. Um, wow. My dad was uh, fortunate enough, actually he worked in, in Pitt Street for many years in the bank, and um, he'd bring home components all the time. And um, he showed me how to build my, my first PC, which is a 286. And uh, what's the first game you remember playing? Oh, I'm not much of a gamer, but I used to play, I used to play games on Sega back in the day, and it was probably Sonic the Hedgehog was yep. the, the game that I played the most. So my second last question is to ask if you could please share some of the best advice you've received in life to help you get where you are today. Yeah, sure. Um, again, Dad, he, uh, he, I play soccer, so he would always say, you need to chase the ball, the ball will not come to you. Um, and, and I use that in life a lot with my kids and, and in my, 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 my career as well. You need, to, you need to go after what you want, and if you go after what you want, you'll, you'll get it. So what is your final message to ITY viewers and readers and to your current and future customers and partners? Yeah, look, I think we've, we've got a solution for everybody, um, whether that's a, a gaming device that's um, a more aggressive style gaming device, hardcore gaming device, or if you're a different type of consumer and you're after a, a device that does have a little bit more of a subtle touch and feel, we do have that device for you. Um, you won't be disappointed. We, uh, we're here today. Obviously, there'll be a lot of people coming through, and I think there's already a few people we've been talking to are very keen to, to go and make a, a new purchase very soon from what they've seen today. So, yeah, we guarantee you won't be disappointed. Well, Brad Howell, Head of Consumer at ASUS, thank you so much for your time. I wish you the best of success, and I do hope we can speak again in the future. Excellent. I really appreciate you taking the time to come and see us today. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.